guys welcome to the bus tv show we're outside it is so hot hence my fan um listen thank you so much to everybody this past week we've gotten so much love from people across the world but especially from east africa we are so feeling you guys out there thank you so very much and keep the love coming listen on the show today there's a lot of things that i want to get into and talk to you about so please don't go anywhere because when i come back i'm coming back with an amazing g so stay tuned Okay guys, welcome back. Remember I said I have a gist for you when we start? Well, this gist is very important to me because it shows the celebrities don't just sit by the side and watch people, especially fans, diss them, especially not on the social media handles. Who am I talking about? Imagine Jim Ike. He posted something on his Instagram page saying me and my cousin somewhere and somebody now wrote go and get married what has that got to do with anything well jim ike's response was so classic he said something like go lose weight and then you and your fat face can stop nosing into somebody else's business well something to that effect and you know it was so bad that every other person who's a fan of jim ike now dissed this particular girl so much so that she deleted her instagram account somebody made a comment that made me laugh though they said something like um somebody should check on her make sure she's still alive and i agree because it really was a dig right back at her now moving on we have two notable figures of nigeria i'm talking about nobel igwe which if you know him you know he's a popular blogger and of course um the oap daddy freeze of cool fm now nobel posted something on his instagram account page saying something like like breakfast with the missus and um i don't know how they managed to make that to mean that he's saying his wife cannot cook and daddy freeze made the comment like i want a wife who's pretty and can cook not like nobel igwe well, Nobel called him out and said, why are you talking about my family? Have respect for you and your family. But I have to say, though, the way that the freeze came back to that was really good because he said something like, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to diss you. You're my pal. We've been going back way too long to fight. You know, and Nobel himself was like, if you guys are expecting a fight, you're not going to get it. So they resolved the issue amicably and peace reigned again to the point where Daddy freeze deleted the said comment. So I like the resolving of that one. Now, Tiwa Savage, Tiwa Savage has posted something to say that she is in support of Black Lives Matter, the hashtag that's been going around the world regarding the incidents in America about the killing of black lives. And fans took to her to say, why are you doing that, criticizing her? Well, what she did was great. She made a comeback by doing a series of pictures showing uh, Michelle Obama and other notable figures around the world who were supporting Bring Back Our Girls. Remember when the girls went missing in Nigeria? And she's saying something like, this is Tiwa Savage saying, when it mattered to us, the whole world supported us. Now that it's affecting the whole world you don't want another part of the world you don't want me to support them and i think that's a classic comeback so all in all guys if you want to leave a comment on any star's social media page it's important that you be careful what you say because you know what they just might bite back more than you think they would Welcome back guys, don't mind me, I'm just feeling myself because the sun is beautiful. Anyway, listen guys, listen, another gist that I have for you. So, marriage, take your eyes off of the band, ladies, because the Coco Master seems like he's going off the market. Our sources are telling us that over the weekend, Coco Master went and did introduction. You know where the girl's family and the guy's family officially meet and they say, yes, I like the flower budding in your household, can we come and pluck it? You know what I mean. So finally, it seems like the band has gone and done that, which means that he's seriously off the chart for people who are thinking they want to marry him but don't despair though because we have Banky W of course I love Banky most of you love Banky you know so Banky actually recently has posted an open letter to people out there saying leave me and my unmarried self alone because every time he posts something one or two people will go when are you getting married go and get married and like he said if he gets a thousand pounds for every second he's told to go and get married he'll be a trillionaire so guys leave him alone but just know He's still available, at least. But for guys out there, hmm, Rita Dominic is single. She just celebrated her birthday. And she has said, though, that she's not just going to marry anybody just because of your money. So before you rush in there, don't be thinking, if I have money, she's single, I'm going to go marry her. It doesn't quite work like that. Because, you know, she's got her own money, so you need to bring your game on. I'm just saying. Anyway, guys, that's it from me when it comes to marriage. I want to move on to something that has to do with the other part of marriage, and that is babies. Listen up. Right guys, I'm sure by now you must have guessed that this particular episode of The Buzz is all about gist. And you know what? There's just tons of them. And I'm moving on to the next one, which is that the Nollywood next generation is being created even as we speak. 
What am I talking about? Well, check this out. A few weeks ago, Osas, the Nollywood actress that we all love, and her husband, Benro Ajibade, just dropped a baby. And you know, we're so happy for them because she is so cute. One of the ones that made me so, so happy is Imem Isong, prolific Nollywood producer who just had twin babies. I mean, it's so sweet. And she showed them off on Instagram just a few days ago. I am so excited for her. Next up is Inyanya's manager, Ubi Franklin, and his wife, the, you know, you know the actress now, Lilian Isoro. They just had a new baby girl as well. It's amazing because I'm loving what babies are doing for all these actors and actresses and producers and everything. It just changes them. If you think I'm joking, check out um, Tonto Dike. Now, you know Tonto Dike. Who doesn't know Tonto Dike? She's always very, she's in every news and it's always controversial. Since Tonto got married, got pregnant, and had a baby who's like five months old now everything i say about tonto is so like so angelic and so peaceful and so nice it's a wonder what this new generation of nollywood are doing to their parents if that is the change they're bringing i love it keep on going guys so guys, a few weeks ago, we brought you a report about Emeka Ike and his wife splitting up and the problems that they've been having. I have to admit, I wasn't so sympathetic to him because I'm thinking, well, you know, if he doesn't want you, just let her go. But you know, I'm changing my tune a little because it seems like the guy really, really wants his wife back. Because recently, our sources are telling us that he's been begging the court not to dissolve his marriage. On the one hand, I want to say, you know what? Yeah, I feel sorry for him. On the other hand, I really want to say, just leave her alone to go. But I'm changing my tune in the terms of, I do feel sorry for him. When a guy wants this kind of thing so badly, maybe we should just, you know, like pay him a little bit of attention and see if he really is genuine in wanting her back. I don't know, what do you guys think? Anyway, um, also, a few, 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 few weeks ago, we talked about Kanayo Okanayo, you know, the prolific Nollywood actor who opened up drama school and um, an academy to also help up and coming creators well his footsteps has been copied by Mercy Aibe Gentry you must all know her she's a Yoruba actress who's very popular not only is she pretty she's got curves that are so wicked well recently she just told us that she's opened up a new drama school where she hopes that new creatives will come and nurture their talent good on you good on you and to round this up did you guys hear about the issue that was brewing between Timmy Dakolo you know Timmy he's one of the judges on The Voice Nigeria and he's also a very well-known gospel singer him between him and Majek Fashek who doesn't know Majek Fashek Majek Fashek come on if you don't know him google him so Timmy did a rendition of Majek Fashek's song and Majek Fashek is saying that he was never paid anything for it and of course the punch newspaper in Nigeria took up the story well Timmy or rather should I say Timmy's record company took that up November Records took it up to say make they made a statement saying that they've paid him every single penny it was agreed beforehand and maybe royalties are due him but not from Timmy and um, I like Timmy's words there he still said you know magic I respect you you're like my hero and there's no beef here it's just a misunderstanding but I have paid you what I owe you I think that is so sweet guys we're going on a very short break so don't go anywhere because when we come back there's loads more such as one-on-one -on -one. you don't want to miss it because who have we got one-on-one -on -one today just stay tuned so you can find out of course we also have press play and fashion connect so stay tuned okay.